You got a. We talked about it a while ago about James Gunn, and he was on Guardians Three, and then these tweets had resurfaced from like 2012, to where he made you talking about open mic, or really, I mean, some of the worst, worst, unfunny, stupid jokes that I had ever seen. They were so bad on on Twitter, and they were brought up. Disney got caught wind of them, and then they released him from the movie. He went on to do Suicide Squad instead. Um, and then people, the directors that they were looking into, Guardians, there's this whole big thing. People do this cast didn't want to support it anymore because they were supporting Gunn in the way that he, they thought Disney handled it poorly. And nobody was touching Guardians 3. And now on Friday it was announced that James Gunn indeed is returning to the franchise now doing both of these. So I start with you, Roxy Stryer. Good move for Disney or bad move? Great move for okay. both. Great move for both companies. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this bodes really well for both companies. Uh, which I'm excited about. I am a fan of James Gunn's work. I think that he shouldn't have, that they should have investigated further when the allegation or when it came up. Disney already knew that he had tweeted those things. It was clearly a response to the public, not a response to the actual act. And I'm glad that they were able to say, we we botched this uh, without saying it like that. Mm. I also think it really helped Suicide Squad because now that, now that he is doing Guardians, there's not that kind of pressure, and uh, it's not gonna. People aren't gonna go to this movie with that huge elephant in the room. Right. Uh, so great for both. But what's the timing on this though? Can I mean, directing a superhero movie is a lot of friggin' work. He's doing so two. The and timing is this: that Suicide Squad two is coming out in August of 2021, mm-hmm. okay. and then Guardians is after that. Okay. So, so he'll have time to prep. So it he has time right now on Suicide Squad, as we've heard all of these announcements about like. Each Idris Elba and um, what they're and uh, uh, Margot Robbie also stay, yeah. staying on. So we'll hear more about that. And then I think Guardians is just saying we're taking a long break because we want him and we know that he's tied to uh, Warner Brothers right now. So we're going to wait, and that probably will come out a year later. I'll tell you what this also does, though. Too it won't, but I hope that it does. Is that it should debunk the whole silly war between the Marvel and the DC fans. Yeah. yeah. Because because oh. Marvel it won't no it won't. but it won't but Mar but the MCU now has the same director as the director DC. who's doing the DC mm-hmm. whatever EU whatever it might be and he's fighting for the same cause. I think that is a representation that fans of the genre in general. If you like comic book movies, you should be rooting for all of these movies. You should be mm-hmm. rooting for all. You shouldn't be the saying the better they are, the better the next one will be. Yeah, you shouldn't the just bar wait. Keeps getting set. You just should. You shouldn't just sit there waiting like, oh man, this DC movie is going to be terrible. I can't wait. I can't wait to sit, talk shit about it. Oh, this Marvel movie is coming out. I'm going to talk shit about it. It's like why? It's right. like so especially now that you have a general on two on on your project and then your enemy's project. So what do you want him to flub the one and, and do good on yours? But listen, I understand as somebody who favors one of those two, it's very obvious. The DC characters speak to me more. Sure. Uh, I grew up with them more. I've read more DC comics. Yeah, but you're not I, rooting against Marvel. I love Marvel. Right. I love Marvel. I'm just not that hasn't been my fandom. Right. But it's the same thing as how I feel about Star Wars or Star Trek like I don't know why Marvel and DC have to be pitted this kind of way because it's not the same thing with DC and Star Wars. It's not, allowed Red, to it's not Red both. Sox versus the Yankees. Yankee, yeah, you're, it's not. You're Some allowed, people think it is, but it's not. But it's not. Yeah. So I, I think that if even if you favor one, that's okay. Yeah. Everybody has their favorite franchise or their favorite whatever, but why? Th- that's the whole thing with Marvel yeah. and Shazam right now. It's like when Zachary Levi was like, do you think you're doing us a favor? Right. You're not. <laughs> but you can you're choose. Not. You can choose choose to not you could dislike all of them you can the marvel movies you can dislike all of them you can try you can say it's just not speaking to me i don't like them i don't like what kevin feige is doing i don't get what these fans see yeah and you can just feel that way mm-hmm. and you can just say okay You're allowed. You, yeah you can just feel that way you can say you know what i i think captain marvel looks like a piece of shit i'm not going to see it i can't wait for shazam yeah, I'm gonna oh. go see that. But guess what? That trailer last time before Captain Marvel. I mean, I've seen them all, but I saw it again, like on the big screen. I giggled. It looks. Yeah. Wait, there was a Shazam great. trailer before Captain Marvel. Yes. Cool. Is, is there a, is there an embargo on? Uh, yes, Shazam still? until the 23rd. Mm. All right. Um, oh, but we can keep reading your tweet. Yeah, you can read my tweet. <laughs> the tweets are positive. <laughs> They're positive. They're <laughs> across the board. It's positive. positive. But anyway, so it's uh, it's interesting this whole James Gunn thing again because. Like I said, I think that the actual tweets were, were I mean, they were atrocious. 
They were atrocious. They weren't funny. I mean, they, they were, were not funny. They were really bad. Bad. But the people who tried to make a com- uh, the correlation between those <laughs> tweets and saying he was an actual pedophile that was next level. No, but here's and you what, here, proof to back that. That's up. That's the thing, though, and that, that's that's where I, I I assume I don't know, but I assume that after something like that, there should be a serious investigation. You should look into you it. You should look into it, and I bet you, with that kind of money, with Disney and yeah. and, and hiring him back. You bet your ass they did research on mm-hmm. it. You bet your ass they investigated whether or not this guy's actually into some shit. And they're not going to hire him back. If they do, they're morons. And I don't think I ever put the word moron next to Bob Iger or right. Alan Horn. Like, Alan Horn was probably, and I bet you up until the end, he's a family man. He is a guy that he does not, he didn't, when he was at Warner Brothers, didn't want cigarettes in movies. He is, he's like that old grandpa, the yeah. old old school grandpa. So he was probably the one that made the ultimate decision on gun. I wouldn't be surprised on it. And it was probably very hard for him to change his decision. You know, it was probably Iger and, and other people that had to make that happen. There's probably a lot of legal action going on. Tons here. of it, I'm sure. Yeah. But the question, again, b- adding into that legal action is the investigations yeah. and the saying you've got it. Like if someone tweets that out, guys, because if, if this is all us and we're running this company, it's like, look, maybe maybe we didn't handle it the right way and we made, we made the decision. Or maybe we did handle it the right way, but could we hire him back? Someone, the lawyer's going to go, well, you can hire him back. But the problem is if it turns out that this guy really did shit, then we're gonna have egg on our face, and it's over, Prime. Yeah. Right. You know, so like that—that uh-huh. that to me, that then you know, investigate. He's got to be open to investigate, and I tend to believe that they did. And this they is just the guy who told bad jokes. They made this decision months ago, right? Which means yeah. that they were waiting for the right time. Sure. They—they've investigated and then some, right? And this is uh, because, like, like I said, horrible jokes that weren't funny, and this was very, un- to me. And we had this whole conversation the other day about with Jay about the comedy club to me is the church, right? In the comedy club, you're not supposed to have a public eye on you. It's supposed to be where you work out and things where you try stuff out. And um, tw- I don't feel Twitter is a comedy club. So you've got no, to be. You're not allowed to just tweet. Like, you can't just tweet whatever. Well, well I'm just working out material. Yeah. It's like, I don't care if that's where you work out material. A <laughs> lot of people see that because the difference in the comedy club, people are paying or in there to see you try jokes. They might not like all your jokes, but they're trying. Like, I am not paying to see you crack your horrible, horrendous jokes about children.